So these are some of my favorite makeup products that I like to bring with me when I travel because they're easy to use, fuss-free, and I can quickly come up with a makeup routine in less than maybe 15 minutes. That way I'm out the door and seeing all the sights that I need to see. I have two bags right here. One is my makeup bag and the other one is my little bag for my tools. And for my makeup bag, I opted for the Louis Vuitton Nice Nano. I know that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this because it is quite small. A lot of people would opt for the Nice Mini because that is a lot bigger than this one so you can pack more products but for me I'm happy with the Nice Nano because I find that when I have a bigger bag I tend to add more products that I don't necessarily need it's just for me to fill up that space which is you know it defeats the purpose of me creating or curating a small makeup bag that can fit in a lot of my travel bags when I go for maybe an overnight trip or a longer weekend. This is something that I recently purchased this year. I've been looking for this bag for over a year now. I think it was early last year when I first saw this bag. My older sister has it. I just really like the shape of vanities like this one because when you open it, you can definitely see everything that's in it. It's a perfect size because it fits in my large totes and as well as my carry-on luggage. So I just wrapped the hand right here with this twilly from my sister it has the letter e on it and i really love it because it helps protect the handle that way if i still have makeup on my hands it's not gonna get onto the leather so you might think that this is very tiny and you can't fit a full face of makeup in it i was able to and as you can see it's not too overflowing it's not deforming its shape or anything like that but it has all of my essentials. So I will let you guys know that everything in this makeup bag is what I use to achieve this makeup look right here. But anyway, the first item here is this Hourglass Scattered Lights Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. I like to carry this around because it's the perfect eyeshadow if I just want to add a little bit of something to my eye makeup without having to bring a full-on eyeshadow quad or palette. Because like I said, I want to keep it minimal but at the same time make sure that I have everything I need. This is perfect because you just apply it all over your lid add a little bit of bronzer around your eyes to have a little bit of depth on your makeup look and you're good to go so i like to carry this i just dab it with my ring finger and it lasts throughout the whole day it's not a glitter eyeshadow that's all over the place love it swear by it it's the only one that i have so far okay so the next item in here is my cream blush this one is from merit beauty and i will let you guys know that merit beauty sent me a bunch of their products earlier this year to try and test out but all opinions of course are my own it's my choice that it's in my travel makeup bag a lot of their fro products a lot of their products a lot of their products are just really fuss-free, easy-to-use products that are very compact and travel-friendly because a lot of them are in like a cream formula. That way, it's not too messy in my makeup bag. I want to make sure that I don't spill any liquid product on the lining right here. That's why I like to keep these more of solid form products. And that's why this one is perfect. I love this because it's pigmented enough, but it's not too much. You know, you apply it with a brush all over your on your cheeks. And it's very universal. The shade that I have right here is the shade Mood. It's more of like a pinky mauve color. So it brings out a nice, bright, happy color on your face because I, I noticed that a lot of my other blushes are more neutral and this one it just makes me feel happy but it's not a pink that's like bright pink because sometimes that could be difficult to match with whatever you're wearing and whatnot i feel like this one is neutral enough but it adds a lot of color to my face and then if you guys have seen my travel makeup bag i think i posted one two years ago i like to travel with a foundation stick because it's easier it's less mess i don't have to worry about the pump breaking and i don't have to worry about the cover or the cap not being closed tight enough because a foundation stick is again in a more solid form. It's easier to travel with. I don't have to worry about TSA and whatnot. And again, this is another Merit Beauty product. This is their Perfecting Complexion Stick. And this foundation stick, it's not as full coverage as my Hourglass foundation stick. But it's actually something that I like nowadays. Because I realize that I don't really have that much to cover on my face. So something that's more sheer to medium coverage is better for my face. That way it's not too heavy. And it's kind of like more natural. 
natural and skin-like. And that's what I get with this Merit Beauty Foundation Stick. It is more of a soft matte finish. So if you have dry skin like me, I like to make sure that I prep my skin well with a lot of good hydrating, moisturizing products whenever I apply this. I don't have a primer on my makeup bag because like I said, I wanted to keep it minimal. So I make sure that I have a good moisturizer to help prep my face in time for foundation. I had a lot of trouble not including my Patrick Ta brow shaping wax in here but again I'm going back to something easy something minimal so I went for a tinted brow mascara Merit Beauty again this is their volumizing pomade in the shade brown I really love this because it really fills in the sparse areas of my brows it's easy to use and I like the length of the wand what I've noticed with a lot of other brow mascaras or tinted brow mascaras is the wands can tend to be shorter with this one it has more length to it that way it's easier to use and that's why I like it. It lasts throughout the whole day as well. It keeps my brows in place and it has just a nice natural finish. It's not too glossy wherein you can really see, you know, the shine on your brows. I'm not into the glossy brow look. I like more natural, bushy, feathery brows and that's what I get when I use this. And then of course for concealer, I have a full coverage concealer just in case I have a zit or a breakout that I need to cover up. This is what I use and of course the redness around my nose. This is one of my favorite concealers. I've discovered this later no early last year and I'm already about to be done with my first full bottle which is surprising because I don't usually finish concealers but this one I really love this when I discovered this last year it has more of a soft matte finish which is what I like because a lot of times I hydrate my face enough to not make this drying I actually discovered something new a couple of weeks ago and I had to immediately add it into my makeup bag this is the Fenty Beauty bright fix eye brightener in the shade peach the reason why I like using this instead of a concealer is because I find that it's a lot more lightweight on my under eye area than a usual concealer but it does the job of like blurring it out and just brightening your eyes and making making it look more awake. It doesn't crease as much as a concealer because a lot of times when I use a concealer and I don't have a loose powder to set it with I find that it creases a lot of times but with this one it's lightweight super easy to use you just blend it out with your ring finger and you're good to go. It's amazing. Amazing. It's definitely worth the hype. And then I have my Soleitan de Chanel. I'm sure you guys already know this. I always rave about this product. It is a little bit pricey, but I'm coming into it. I think this is the second year I'm using it and I still have, I think, more than half of this thing right here. It's huge, but I love it because it just adds a nice natural bronze look to my face. It adds more warmth and depth. My face doesn't look too flat. And... I don't know, I just love this product so I had to keep it in my travel makeup bag. And then for powder, we have my Chanel Le Beige pressed powder. This one, I'm really indifferent about it. I have this here just because I want to keep using it and finish it before I replace it with something else. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Face Powder because this Le Beige, I like it but it's not revolutionary enough for me to warrant its price point. Of course, it's Chanel, it's so pretty to look at. It adds a little bit more coverage on the areas where I need it to be, but with the price point, it's okay. Okay, and then I have my highlighter again. We're back with the cream formula or the cream form because it's easier to use. And this one is again from Merit Beauty. This is their highlighting balm. This is in the shade Bounce. It's a nice neutral highlighter that goes well with a lot of my makeup looks. It's not like pinkish and it's not too... I can't describe the color, but like you know how a lot of other highlighters are, have more of like a white shade to it? This one doesn't have that it's more of like a translucent nice glow that I like to add on my cheekbones as well as my brow area and my inner corner. It looks hydrated but not glittery. So it adds radiance but it doesn't have like little chunks of glitter in it and that's why I like it. It's a nice natural glow. It's not too beaming which is what I love most about it. And then I have my setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and this is the travel size version. I've only ever bought travel size versions of this because I don't want to have two bottles like a full-size version and a travel size version. What I noticed recently is 
that it comes in a regular spray bottle so I can always buy the full size and refill this instead of buying multiple small travel size bottles. I really love this because it keeps my makeup intact the entire day but it's not as tight as the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Like it's more lightweight but it does the job. It's not as you know heavy in my opinion. Although the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is still like a good transfer proof makeup setting spray. This one, there's a little bit of transfer, but it helps keep my makeup on the entire day. It's not too heavy, like I said, which is more important to me because I don't like that feeling when it when my face is just too heavy and I feel sleepy at the end of the day. And then the last product inside my Nice Nano is this Merit Beauty Lip Shade Slick. This is a tinted lip oil, which is what I like to pack because I do have very dry lips, so I want to make sure that they're well hydrated, but at the same time, they look good. So... You can never go wrong with a tinted lip oil. So that's everything in this tiny makeup bag right here. As Like I said, it fits a whole face of makeup. And the only other thing that I have is this small pouch right here. This one I got for free from Happy Skin when I bought their lip slip. So I like using this for my makeup brushes and tools because if the powder gets on the pouch itself, it's not gonna get ruined. All I have to do is wipe it down because it's more of like a silicone pouch. So what I have here is clips to clip my hair back so that it's not in my face when I'm doing my makeup. So I just like to carry two. This is, I guess, from the brand Kitsch. And I really like it because it's large. It pins everything back. This is actually the only gel eyeliner that I like. And I'm so sad because they're no longer selling this at Sephora. Hopefully, they're just reformulating and relaunching because I really love this. It doesn't smudge. It stays on the entire day. Very pigmented. Super easy to use. I just love it to add a little bit bit of something on my eyes when I don't have any eyeshadow on. And then of course, I have my tried and tested Shuemura Eyelash Curler. This one is my favorite. Been using this since 2016, I think. I've been using the same, not the same one, but the same brand and model for six years now. When I tell you this is the perfect lash curler, it just lifts up all of your lashes, lashes and keeps them there. The mascara that I'm using right now is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I really like it. I like how it keeps my lashes up throughout the entire day. So I just put whatever mascara I'm using at the moment. I don't have a specific mascara for traveling just because mascara doesn't have a long shelf life. So what I like to do is I open up a mascara and that's what I use for the next three to six months and once it gets clumpy then I open another mascara because like I said it doesn't have a good shelf life or a long shelf life. I really like buying these Real Techniques brushes. They're great travel brushes because they're full size but they're shorter so it's perfect and it doesn't take up so much space. And then this one is one that I always like to travel with. It's a brush that was recommended to me by my friend Jelly and I love it for my foundation and my concealer. So this is the It Cosmetics All Over Precision precision brush. So this is the all over brush which is what I like to blend out my foundation with and then the precision brush for my concealer. Sometimes I like to bring the brow shaping wax which I'll dive into later but yeah this is the Patrick Ta brow brush. And then I have this other makeup bag which has my other products which I like to bring when I have a check-in luggage with me. So whenever I have more space and I can bring products for a more full coverage look, this is what I like to pack. It's the same makeup bag from Happy Skin. Again, it was free but it's silicone so I have a lot of my liquid products here in case it spills. It's easy to clean. I do have a primer because whenever I have a full coverage foundation, I like to go in with a primer because it holds up better and it smooths out my face makeup. And then for my more medium to full coverage foundation, what I have right now is the Happy Skin Cooling Serum. I really love this. Smooths out my skin. Talked about this foundation way too much already. You guys already know. And then for everything else, of course, since I have a full coverage foundation, I have my loose powder. Happy Skin Aqua Cooling Setting Spray setting powder in the shade beige. Love this. Again, talked about it a lot already. So you guys already know that. And then I also have my Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax, which if I have base in my luggage, this is what I'll add into my makeup kit because I just can't live without it anymore. And then the last product in here is my Tevion Sculpt to Bronze in the shade Morocco. Of course, when I have a more full coverage look, I want to have a more defined contour and bronzer. And this is what I like to use because I just blend in the two bronzer and the contour together to really make it easier for me to have a more defined 
face shape. So yeah, that is everything that's in my travel makeup bag. I'll make sure that I link everything in the description box in case you guys are interested. And I'm curious, what's in your travel makeup bag? I've been busy curating this the past couple of months to make sure that I have the best products that is easy to use that can create a nice makeup look. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Like I said, if you have any suggestions, any other products that you would like me to try, please comment it down below. And I hope that you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!